I so wanted that Alex Telles did. Because, okay, okay. What's up everybody, my name is Akil and welcome to another video on my channel. The reason you're here my friends is because you know you have the potential of becoming a professional FIFA player. But having potential is not the same as doing something with it, right? So today we're going to start off a new series called the Pro Series where I'm going to introduce you to players who will actually help you in achieving your dreams. Now, today's guest is an 18 year old professional FIFA player who has won numerous tournaments including 5 national titles and 1 international title. He has represented India in Germany, beating some of the top players in the world. He started playing FIFA for his love of football and slowly made it his career after going on a winning streak at the start of his professional career. Now, his aim is to someday make it to the E-World Cup and represent India on the biggest stage. So guys, help me in welcoming uh, Saranj Jain. Hey Saranj, what's up? Hi Akhil, how are you? Thank you for having me on. I'm good man, uh, th thank you for joining us uh, today and uh, before we start of playing the uh, pro series games, uh, I just have a few questions for you uh, as you are a professional uh, uh, FIFA player and the quest first question for you is what tips you would like to give young growing competitive players uh, for the tournaments and uh, performing well in foot champs? So this is this is one question which I get asked a lot by people on social media and at tournaments also. The, the answer is usually the same, I mean, uh, you shouldn't give up, you should keep practicing, participate in as many tournaments as you can, try to get a better team in foot champs, keep grinding and you can get, get a better finish. And obviously the yeah, important sure. thing is to like not give up early. A lot of people expect yeah. success early which is, which is actually uh, not ideal. So you're saying that uh, you shouldn't give up and keep grinding and success will come your way someday yep for sure but the only thing like playing in tournaments uh, seeing success like grinding there I think would be fine but sometimes it, it gets really frustrating playing uh, for champions every weekend and getting those shitty rewards <laughs> I mean <laughs> you would know it because like for elite players like you who get elite 1 elite 2 on every weekend getting those players might be frustrating sometimes yeah it is obviously i mean you, you, but there's really no other option you have to go through it <laughs> and slowly slowly and steadily build your team a, yeah but you still play for champions every weekend. yeah i, I don't know I how mean. <laughs> i don't know how ea try like gets us going in this thing but they've done a good job in that at least and, and yeah, for sure I nobody can give it up like this man it's yeah, an addiction everybody's like this it's like an addiction you want to play the game you want like even if you know that you're going to get shitty rewards <laughs> you are there every weekend playing the game yeah, giving up all your social life <laughs> okay the next question is how is the scene with being signed up with an esports agency who's trying to look for a team for you um so basically uh, you need to uh, be consistent be consistent throughout tournaments be consistent in ultimate team and that's when you know you can reach a point where teams might approach you or you might be able to email a team which which might respond and try to get, get into a contract with you but it's been tough uh, with the past few years with the eligibility not being there for the global series but let's see man hopefully we can get that sorted out and maybe one of us can make it to the e world cup yeah i'm sure man like with a lot of players from india actually hitting those elite one and 29 one finishes i'm like i'm really happy for you guys professional players who are you know uh, consistently grinding through ultimate team and getting 29 i don't think uh, uh, you guys have invested a lot of money like the europeans or americans who invest like thousand dollars or two thousand dollars man but with the small teams as well you guys are able to hit elite ones and Hopefully we get that top 100, we don't have it yet, but yep, let's see. those kind of finishers will surely get us uh, the eligibility and get us signed up to an, to an organization and which will be great for India actually. Yeah man. Yeah. So let's start off playing the games. Uh, so guys, uh, we'll play two games uh, on the whole and the winner, uh, win winner will be, the champion will be uh, 
they will have the highest number of goals in both the games. So I I know that Saris is going to win, but let's give him a uh, tough game. So yeah, let's do we start off now? Start yeah, off? let's go. Let's go, man. <laughs> Oh no! Oh fuck! <laughs> I was I was thinking I was thinking what offside or not? I just finished it first. Oh shit! No! 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 Sorry, it's just like I played him in the drafts, dude. Oh shit, no! <laughs> Just like how he does in real life. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, like, and look at the way. Neymar, no, pass. He lagged over. Man, I so wanted that Alex Tellez to Because, okay, okay. So guys, yeah, first leg has ended. The result has not been uh, surprising, but uh, it was <laughs> a tough fight. Two goals are enough. Uh, the previous instances, I think I just want to talk about it. Okay, let's see. Let's see the four goals so far. Previous cases when I've played Saranj over like over the years, last two years, uh, I think only. I mean, only it's, one it's once. I, I, I don't really remember. We haven't played that much honestly actually. Right, recently we didn't play but, but as far in as... By 18 we used to play. Yeah, I, I won once and uh, there were so many situations where I, I used to lead 1-0, 2-0. Once I, I was leading the game 4-0 in 40 minutes or 30 minutes. He beat me <laughs> 6-4. I was like... Seriously, from then... Oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I remember that game yeah, man. <laughs> then Saranj said, okay. I need to be careful, I shouldn't, uh, you know, even though I, if I, like, go ahead, I need to defend properly. So hard to defend back, 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 against you. That was like 18, so, yeah. man, because that was the first game. Now, now it's like tough to attack. You need to build up from the defense and shit. Yeah, now it's really hard. Yeah, now it's low as Dude, well, so. Man, uh, FIFA 20 has been a nightmare to me, like. Like, I, I've always been a player who never used to like build up. Keep I possession, yeah, like, I know, I know. And it's been like, with people, like, I have to learn how to like build the game, build up the play and all. Very yeah, hard. Play slow. Yeah. <laughs> I, even I don't like it, honestly. I just have to do it because the game requires it. Yeah, the game demands yeah. What? Yeah. Free kick? Okay, let's try out this free kick with Neymar. Okay, it's moving the keeper. I see that. Can we put it in another direction? It's. Uh, <laughs> but free kicks are really good, man. I like the free kicks, though. Oh, I, 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 I can never take direct free kicks, honestly. Yeah. What are you doing, dude? No, no Suarez. No Suarez. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's over. Oh. For oh, once he misses. <laughs> Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> so many misses, dude. <laughs> okay, foul. No! What? 
I left it out, dude. When Ramos fouls, it doesn't. It's not a foul. <laughs> so guys, yeah, we were able to draw, which is a great achievement. <laughs> uh, keeping Suarez at bay and Saranch at bay, you can see 18 tackles. Whoa. <laughs> the difference is very hard to break. Uh, what I've learned is, this is very aggressive in defense and getting past, like pass, giving the right pass is very hard. So that's what. 25% uh, shot accuracy for both. It just, <laughs> it just yeah, shows yeah. how yeah. inconsistent the finishing is. <laughs> Your Suarez is. I'm lucky that I'm lucky that he was not on his not on his day. So yeah, this game wasn't wasn't for him, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he took out all his energy in the last leg. So <laughs> <laughs> enough of simulation, maybe he thought. Uh, let's give Akil some respect. <laughs> So that brings us to the end of the video. If you like the video, just smash the thumbs up button. It will mean the world to me. And do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel because we are, we're going to have a lot more professional players coming in and helping us with on how to perform on foot champions and the tournaments that go around in the country. I've also included all the social links to Saranch in the description. And I request you to follow him because he's on the road to becoming someone great in the FIFA scene. And he needs all our help. Until next time. Sweet!